Yo, what's up? This is Grip, and y'all gonna have to check me out on the next episode of I Only Touch Greatness with my boy Ryan and my boy Royal, because that shit's gonna be lit. Tap in. Okay. Um, when did you first become interested in music and wanting to take it seriously? Um, so I've always been interested in music. Um, again, I I I was I grew up in like a rich era of music, you know, Luther Vandross, Whitney Houston, um, uh, Madonna, George Michael, Janet Jackson. Those are the people that I listened to um, as a kid. And then I remember like the induction of like Two Life Crew and Ice T and Ice Cube and DJ Quick. And so that was that even when I wasn't supposed to be listening to some of the lyrics of that stuff, it, I just forced that in my life. So I always um, love music. Like I said, it started out more with like um, R and B. Well, really, it really started with the Beastie Boys. I'm about right there, and then Run DMC. Mm. Those were like when I those were like my first hip hop that I really listened to, and I was like, "Wow, I really like this shit," you know. And um, it just developed from there. When when my mother moved us to L.A. to kind of get away from the, the fucked up shit in Oakland, my mom became a comedian. And she came up with um, uh, Jamie Foxx, uh, Sherry Shepard, uh, Joe Torrey would be at the house, uh, Faison Love to this day uh-huh. is still like my godfather. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, she came up with like... Uh, all of those, uh, J. Anthony Brown, Chris Spencer uh, used to pick me up and, and take me to the mall. Like, so we, I was always around entertainers, you know? And right. um, one day I just said, I was watching um, Yo! TV Raps or something. And I was like, I, I want to try this. And I just tried it. And my mom was like, I got some comedian buddies that could throw you on stage before they go up to do their act in Hollywood. So that's even even underage. I just went up there and started um, opening shows in rapid, wow. and it, uh, it it went from there. No Holy shit. It, it coming from that, like for real, like like because you got <laughs> that's a dope story. Like Jamie Foxx to Phase On, shout out to Phase On too. He showed love yeah. to um, uh, 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 sure. a reel that I did um, with. Um, and it's crazy, right? How how that real came about, right? Because I used to love the uh, movie Fear of the Black Hat. He oh, was in okay. It. So you yeah. know what I'm saying? Shout yeah. out to the DJ who was the uh, I forgot what his name was. He actually liked it too, and he um, added me on IG, and I was just like, "Yo!" And he just showed love. I was like, "Yo, that's crazy." So, what was one of your uh, favorite moments at that time period? Whenever your mom, you know, was a comedian, do you got any uh, like story about that? Oh, uh, let me see. My favorite moments. Well, my mom had did like a sitcom um, for like cable TV. Uh, mm. back then, and um, she she wrote it and directed it, and like. All the comedians came out, and I just, I remember um, a lot of the big stars that we have now, like, uh, came out and and did comedy for her, and I just remember being underage, but just being enthralled with being able to be in this uh, nightclub with um, all these comedians cursing and talking shit and talking about sex, and I didn't know really what they were talking about, but, you know, and and it, and it, I don't know, I shouldn't be saying it, but you know, just the whole club scene at like like nine, you know, and, right, and right. now I look and all these people are like on TV and shit, and it's like it's just it's like crazy because you know I got to see people start out with a dream and make it, and so that like helped inspire me also. You right, know. I was about to say, man, like that had to be inspiring. And talking about your own TV reps and um, happy birthday to uh, Fat Five Freddy. You know, what I'm his birthday is today, and it was crazy. Is it? I did, yeah, yeah, it's his birthday today, and Word. I'm glad that you're talking about it because I was watching all the Yo and TV raps uh, interviews, right? And I was like, I like one always, particularly one. It will always be. The one with the NWA one, you know what I'm saying? Like, it always inspired oh. me, you know what I'm saying? Because I remember how that was whenever they was on the truck and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. 
What was one of your um your and TV raps, you know, moments that inspired you to be like, you know what, I really or is tuned in to the culture? Dang, you know, that's a hard question because it was so long ago, it's kind of hard for me to remember. Um yeah. to this day I actually have in my uh in my other room VHS cassettes because remember you used to be able to tape the shows. Mm-hmm you know, that would come on. So right. I, I would just, I would tape them and, and watch them later and stuff. And it would be interesting because I need to kind of look over them and see what exactly I was taping because I can't really remember. I just remember looking um, at the, the show and just like loving the life and what, and the way people were able to express themselves so, uh, back back then, rap was more diverse. Um, it, everything wasn't like so much about the same topics to me like it is now. So like seeing like um, the the different um, the hip hop styles and the clothing and how you didn't necessarily have to fit in. You could just be right. However, right. and express yourself, and it was like so freeing to be able to see that shit. Now I think it's more like you got to conform. Right. Excuse me. Back then <clears throat> you could, if like, if you were like crisscross and you um, put your pants to the back, that was cool. It was like, wow, they're bold. They turn their pants around or, or LL Cool J, I think used to roll up a pants leg. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Remember that was the cool thing. Shit? Yeah. You remember, remember he always had the pant leg up, right? He always ah, had it. He I had it for a minute. That. And that was like early in the 90s, right? He had Hell that one pad leg up. But he had that motherfucker going until at least, well, shit, at least probably like, like the, the album 10. The album 10. Whatever he had, the album 10, that's, I think he, he stopped like with the pant leg down. He, had, he had it okay. till like rocking, the FUBU days. I've been rocking, I, I was rocking hammer pants in 92. Exactly. This yeah. remember I had to you could just fucking be different. You that was the cool shit. Like flavor yeah. play with that big ass what was it, a clock? Yeah, the clock. Um, <laughs> medallion. Uh, yeah. I think I think LL Cool J is one of like the people who really inspired me. Just when he came out with uh I'm bad and the booming system and I need mm. love and then around the way girl. Yes. That shit just, I'm like, I fucking love rap. Right. I love this shit. And then I he came out with Out of Sync, too. You remember Out of Sync, the movie? <laughs> like, oh, niggas forget shit. about the movie. They forget yes. about, see, I always tell people, like, this is when you know you true a part of hip hop because you got to remember Out of Sync. You know what I'm saying? You got to remember yeah. Out of Sync. You know, you got to remember yeah. rapping from Ice T. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to remember these shits. You know what I mean? A lot yeah. of people be getting fucked up when they be like, yo, I don't fucking remember that shit. I'm like, uh, you supposed to know this shit. This is hip hop. You know what I mean? They don't know. They really don't be knowing. They, they don't, don't they know. know.